three times over. Yes, I need to at least return yeah. damage though. Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. A near perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen. And he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and in out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always like the chin. Watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Again, we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never on the center line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shot. Tonight. Well, this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today. And he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah. The jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer. And, John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury rules in the walkout yeah. man, because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 14 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Super. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record of one loss. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Starling. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. Our referee, of course, for him, the easiest way to put his last fight, a loss by decision behind him, is to have a short-term memory. Get in there tonight, take care of business, ideally get the finish, and move his way back into title contention. That is the message from his corner. That is all you've heard from this team here during fight week. Forget about the last fight. Focus on the present. His present is here tonight in the highest nice. profile spot of his UFC career. Oh. Some kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. Oh, I mean, shit. check. You're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Got the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Wow. Fighters back to their feet here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, big punch land. Oh! oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get well, him. He's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Sterling. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Oh! Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diversion. Oh, All right, going for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his takedown attempt of choice and works out for him there. Absolutely, oh. he is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Get up, get up. 
Well, anytime you are in a <laughs> ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Man, great job finding a way out, finding an escape oh. to get back to your feet. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue to him. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival mode. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that this boxing beat this shot. He's never looked this good. Stuffs that takedown attempt uh, without issue. Uh, uh, Bottom uh, fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's oh, got to yeah. grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, yeah. oh, man, this is some serious ground and pound here. Right, right, he's not just staying busy for the sake of staying oh, busy. Oh, 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 yeah, no pity pat for this guy. This guy's trying to land oh. and to land effective strikes. Second round, straight ahead. I know my nigga tired. I be throwing a lot of punches with him. I be fucking shit. Knocking nigga out. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready to fight? You ready? Mm. Second round underway. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. Oh! He is still standing oh. after taking that punch. Well, he's up. But oh, oh. he hurt. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Working off of his back mm. here. Looks oh, like he may try to hit the skate. Look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, oh. 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 Looks like he went limp there for a second. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a... Oh, double leg lands. Back to the feet now. Double leg kicked out attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go yeah. now to the top position? Good series of elbows by him there. It's almost like he's ambidextrous when it comes to throwing these elbows. There is no strike in fighting that can really damage your opponent as much as an elbow. He understands that. He's throwing them over and over again. And the referee brings the up. fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Come on. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, big shot lands. Oh! Oh! You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough one. Even be on his feet right now. He oh. didn't like that left hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now they're yeah. in it. Yeah. And here's the takedown. Yeah. Take niggas head off. Oh, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. All right, side corner, control now. Corner. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's a tech armbar now. Well, the more tired you are, the bigger your shit. Like, the more you move it, the bigger your shit gets. And he's out. Two rounds in the books. How much time you have to wait? 
Alright, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. That dropped. I am clearly ahead, right? You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Great punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh! Get up. Blocks the shot. What? Oh, 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 has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Now let's get a full pass. Let's get a full pass. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, bottom fighter guessing, here. Bro. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of trainers. Oh, you can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from his style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why it's yes, one of the best that we've yes, seen do it in a long time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. With two minutes and change oh, to go in round three. Good work, guys. Come on. Nope. Nope. I get up. That's how you grapple, baby. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Baby. Very nice. That's how you work your way up. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game. And if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the game. I mean, it's all the true. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at oh. home and hope that he can force oh, it. Oh, there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits his double leg. Now connects with a right. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, yeah. Outstanding ground is down here. Somewhat of a lost That's art in bad. MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. <laughs> not an issue for him. He's Man. making every single one of them count. He's not pity pat. Oh, good entry there to take Come on, the fight rest. to the grappling <laughs> realm. Now we'll Damn, see what he can do This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission what? opportunities. Oh. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that Look fight tonight. Back. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight. Largely yes, got it done clearly, with right? Yeah, he got it done with striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. That was tough. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Hey, this guy's fight. I like the win. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been three Judges for this contest 30 27. 30 27. Yes, sir. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. The issue was by unanimous decision. Certainly, pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas the opponent had a few moments, he was the one that time, but I'm not going to get out of time. He all the interactions. He's mm -hmm. the person that mm -hmm. truly did the game the fight. The standing or on the ground. Three, this three, is three, his three, fight. Five. He won his fight. And he won it in dominant fashion. Come on, son. 